a stroke? The term stroke literally means sudden out of the blue. From the neurological context, stroke means sudden onset neurological deficit. The deficit can be in terms of weakness involving one side of the body. It can be difficulty speaking, slurring of speech or inability to speak or comprehend what is being spoken. It can also be sudden onset vision loss, double vision, sudden onset walking difficulty. All these neurological deficits, if it is sudden in onset, we think of stroke. Yes, sir, who can stroke, uh, stroke effect? Is it only the young or also the elderly people as well? Or is it a mix of both? Yeah, ideally, you know, a de few decades ago, stroke was considered to be the disease associated with the elderly population. But not the case anymore. Off late, we are coming across to stroke patients who are in their 20s and 30s as well. So that concept of stroke being a disease of the elderly is gone. Okay, it can affect people of any age group. Nowadays, especially post-COVID, we are seeing a lot of patients uh, presenting with stroke. So what is the solution, sir? Is it, is it more because of the environment, the stress environment, uh, in, or is it because of our food and other, you know, other ways of life which are affecting or increasing strokes, that you think? Okay. So, see, stroke is basically a vascular disease, the blood vessel which supplies the brain. So, there is a blockage in the vessel or there is a rupture of vessel. That's what leads to stroke. Usually, the blockage of vessels are, you know, usually a lifestyle-related illness, okay? So, uncontrolled blood pressures, uncontrolled blood sugar, cholesterol levels, all these act as risk factors for stroke. So, we need to work towards controlling those risk factors. Apart from that, there are a lot of non-tangible things. For example, stress plays a very important role in manifestation of stroke or heart disease. So, we need to learn to manage stress as well. Sleep is one more under-recognized physiological aspect. Make sure that uh, we get adequate sleep, at least six to eight hours of good sleep at night. So all these factors, along with lifestyle modifications, which include cessation of smoking, avoiding alcohol, okay, and maintaining a good exercise regime of at least 30 to 45 minutes, will go a long way in preventing stroke. What are the symptoms of stroke, sir? Yeah, as I said earlier, no, all the symptoms of strokes are sudden onset neurological deficit, which can be weakness involving one side of the body, slurring of speech, speech uh, inability to speak, inability to comprehend what is being spoken or else lo loss of sensation involving one side of the body or lo loss of balance. A person who is absolutely fine, the very next minute he is unable to stand and walk. So it's a spectrum. So any, any uh, neurological deficit which happens all of a uh, sudden can be uh, a symptom of stroke. What is the, uh, you know, what is the treatment that's given to stroke patients, sir? And what are the new technology advance, advancements mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. patients can avail now? Yeah. So whenever we come across a patient with stroke, the first thing we do is try to figure out what has caused the stroke. Is it the blockage of blood vessel to the brain which led to stroke, or is it the rupture of blood vessel? So the treatment are diametrically opposite. I'll tell you about the blockage. Okay. Whenever the blood vessel is blocked, then we need to open it up. So how do we do that? One is injection, there is medical management. We give injection through the IV lines in the hand and uh, that injection is known to open up the clot. We call them as clot bursters. Apart from that, if the clot is bigger in size, if a bigger blood vessel is blocked, then we have to mechanically go in. You would have heard of angioplasties with respect to heart. Similar mechanism, we insert a guide wire, put a probe and remove the clot mechanically. So th these are the two uh, treatment options for people with stroke. There's also a misconception between um, you know, epilepsy and stroke. Mm -hmm. Is there any uh, you know, connection between the two? Are they both different? And, uh, you know, uh, and also regarding seizures, uh, so are all these different or is it the same? Yeah, seizure is a clinical condition wherein there is abnormal jerky movement of all four limbs. This is a classical seizure. Seizure can be a symptom of stroke, but not all seizures are stroke. Okay, any kind of irritation in the brain can trigger a seizure, but every seizure need not be a stroke. It's entirely different. Yeah, and uh, seizures are not a very common manifestation of stroke.